<laughs> it is. Serpents. I haven't heard the word serpent since the, I read the Bible in uh, in catechism in eighth grade. But, <laughs> And we went down there, yeah. and we knew it was told to us that this is the shitty strip club. Yeah, we were trying to be fun and kitschy and see some fatties and a C-section scar and maybe a little dingleberry. And we walk in, and the Washington Redskins <laughs> offensive line is just sitting there in yes. bikinis yes. with black eyes. I think they're the Adam's commanders apple. now. <laughs> but yeah, the commanders were there. Ooh. What is it? Th- what's that thing inside of us? Do you have this? He's a death when, door. When you see the guy who's 115 walking like this, that you just kind of want to kick his ankles course, out. What is that? Well, I think it's because it's a sure thing. You know he's going down. He's going to topple like the Tower 7. You know, he's Notre Dame. And now. Well, Katie Turr has always been a woman. I see. She's got huge cans. She's on MSNBC. I read her book. Fascinating lady. So she's a Turr. But. <laughs> Okay. Her dad was a helicopter pilot, ah. and he was the one that found OJ and followed him. Oh, thank God it wasn't Kobe. But he. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> They're fucking in the shower in the ass, and the guy says, "Hey, don't, the phone." He gets a phone call. <laughs> Oh, the shower? <laughs> well, the phone. Oh, oh, it's thin walls. Wait, wait, it's like wait. this. Hold I'm on. your phone. Start from the beginning. The He's two, in the shower. The two guys, they're of the homosexual descent, and they're having <laughs> gay sex in the shower. All right, all right. That's a big shower. <laughs> they're having sex in the shower. You know, and then the phone rang. It's phone. Back oh. in the day, there was no answer machine. This joke was written. It's a landline. I no see. machine. So he's like, I got to take this call. It could be, you know, Doogie Hauser or whatever. The president, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he goes, oh, don't come until I get back. Ah, okay. Whatever you do, don't come until I'm back here. And the guy goes, all right, you got it. I've never he, heard this. He goes, he takes the <laughs> phone call. You know, he chats with his mother or whatever. Sure. He comes back, and this just come all over the shower. There's semen on the soap. It's on the tub. It's on the shower curtain. It's on his face. And he goes, what are you doing, you piece of shit? I told you not to come. And the guy says, I didn't. I farted. I <laughs> Oh, wow. That's brilliant. I'm a big proponent of Boudreaux's butt paste. Do you know this product? Do I? I think it's out of Louisiana. Boudreaux. I thought that. when I, Every time I look at it, I think of you. I think of calling you and telling you, you know. Tell me about your ass. Uh, so I've been using it. Usually this stuff, Boudreaux's butt paste, it's for children. Usually I do one swoop. And it's gone in like ten minutes, but I don't know if the date has expired on my on my my BBP. Uh huh. But I, I've been I've been just cramming the whole tube up there. I like stick the tube in my ass and have Sarah step on it, so yeah. it just shoots in there. <laughs> but don't you worry about caulking your crack? You don't want to seal that in like like an old uh, crack in a drywall. I do. That's what it's like. I got cock in my ass. Uh, yeah, I love a cock in my ass, but I'm just. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Gomez started as a bark. He was a bark, just a barker. Ah, uh-huh, all, all. Did you know that? Yeah, no bite. He wasn't even a comedian. He would just bark really? for a job. That was his gig. Wow. Well, he's working. Well, he's barking, baby. Yeah. Uh, by the way, his dog died. That was sad. Wow, no bark there. No. <laughs> Jeez, barking up the wrong tree. But you know my favorite joke ever? Please. The, uh, the, the two gig men, they've been married for years. And they're trying to spice up their sex life. Hey, wait, gays are married now? <laughs> what the fuck? I, well, how long was I out? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what so, world are we living in? So let, let me just get right to it. Please. So then there's the two gay guys, and they're married for many decades, and they're trying to spice decades. up the sex life. So it was illegal. Yes. So the, the, the gay man, one gay man says to gay, gay A says to gay B. Uh, KB. It's a bad, you get bit by a dog. Yeah. A poodle. <laughs> or it's a gay baby. <laughs> So he says, we spiced up our sex life. I got an idea. I'll hide. And if you can find me, I'll blow you. And the other guy says, great. And then guy A says, I'll be behind the couch. Uh, That's a great joke. I mean, it's a classic. Classic joke. You know, the other gay joke that was always good. Not as good as that one, but... uh Guy, there's three guys had to sleep in a bed. You know, they could only afford one hotel room. They're all in the same bed. The guy in the end goes, man, I had this crazy dream that uh, somebody was yanking me off. And the guy on the other end goes, I had the same dream. And the guy goes, what'd you have? And the guy in the middle goes, I had a dream I was skiing. I mean, <laughs> That's a great joke. Come I mean, on. I mean, that is. <laughs> That's fine. He's dying. 